it's it's going to be i think we'll have a few bread and butters and for the first time and shoot since maybe ron turner was our offensive coordinator we're going to have an identity and i wasn't a big ron turner fan but hey he at least had an identity he ran the ball and he did play action and exactly what up guys swifty here covering everything chicago bears Today I'm showing you a little bit of a preview of last week's episode of me and Coach T on Chicago Bears 360. Be sure to check us out this week at 1 p.m. Eastern. As well, I'm going to put that live link for the entire video down in the description below. Be sure to check that out. I have two special videos coming this weekend. I got the much-anticipated punter video on Trenton Gill as well as the final rookie breakdown on Elijah Hicks. Also, I did my first ever Bulls video yesterday. Nobody's watched it yet, guys. Give that video a like. Also, I did a video on whether or not I think we are going to extend David Montgomery. Be sure to check those out, guys. Let's get into today's video. And until tomorrow, bear down. You know, you know your boy Don Burt is going in, but listen, I'll say this. I say because Don mentioned, oh, you know what I'm saying? You guys know uh you talking about the coaching staff, the coaching staff not being a Don, we beat y'all twice with Nagy. Like, how do you, what do you do? What are you, what are you arguing? We beat you twice with Nagy. He doesn't get it, man. And that's the funny part is Don, I, I actually, so I, I didn't meet, I didn't run into Don until this year on your show and it's some funny. of my videos and stuff, right? But I found some video, I was just, Sometimes I just get into YouTube holes, you know, I'm watching football videos and I found a video from last year, right? Mm -hmm. And it's it's train it's preseason last year and Don Burr joins live with his cam on a 49ers show, right? And he's he goes in for like 15 minutes about why the Lions are going to the Super Bowl. Like just that. going on, he's got all these reasons. Like lions are so good at this, lions are so good at this. They're underrated. This they're gonna take the league by storm. They won two games. Oh, yeah. Like Don Burr, you got no credibility, bro. I'm sorry. Like get something right before you try to tell everybody that send me, they're wrong, hey, man. Send me, send me that. It, it's it's all fun and game, but you know I'm gonna clip it up. The 2020 season, not last year, but when Bill Lazor took over for that long stretch and we beat. A bunch of bad teams and all the fans were like oh we're beating them because we're playing the lions and jaguars and it's like nah man laser was actually setting up his plays we would yeah. come out and score on that first drive and that's one of the biggest things you'll notice with Nagy is you you touched on it a little bit earlier how you come out your first 15 to 20 plays are scripted right, right. that's when the great coaches they come out bill belichick uh you know bruce arians whoever it is kyle shanahan they come out and they score on that first drive because right. they got you set up. They planned for that first drive the whole game. And then the rest of it is kind of a chess match. Right. But Matt Nagy, we never scored on the first drive. Right. Like this guy's supposed to be an offensive guru. Right. Four years. I think four, we four. scored one touchdown on our first drive. <laughs> yeah, no, I'll get, and you're exactly right. And I'll give you a bonus off of that. Either score or give me a long drive. Right. One of the things when I'm watching football, I see either whether it's offensive, offensively or defensively. If it's if it's us on offense, give me a long drive and a field goal or give me a long drive that even sputters out. Like I don't it's for me, it's not in a vacuum. What I don't want to see is three and outs, no movement, whatever. But give me a long drive and a field goal or even give me a long drive and, and go for it on the fourth and sputter out. If you give me at least. If you give me at least seven or eight of that first 15 script plays uh, that you actually get a run, get the run and you ran it successfully, I'm like, okay, we're working with something because I gave you the defense. First of all, the work the work we did during the week, we we actually got it right, right? The the scouting we did during the week, we got it right. So we're on to something. Now we can we can build on that. But if three and outs, Nagy, I just and I don't want to make this about Nagy show, but I just can't work with that. Like, I can't build on that. So I think, you know, one of those things that people didn't really give uh, Bill as much as he was allowed to do it, he actually put some stuff together every once in a while, man. I, and I just I just think, man, with that group, this group is going to be so much better. Like, 
I, I, the only thing that's probably going to get in Luke Getz's way is Luke Getz, right? He just, you can't go, you can't go too ego coast, egotistical with it. You can't stop. You can't start smoking your own dope as an offensive coordinator. You got to be like, okay, you know, if you have a good week, so what? Like, I got to build on what I got. I got to get ahead of uh, defensive coordinators because it doesn't take them long to catch up with you in the NFL, man. It's just. It is what it is. Uh, very true, man. It's it's kind of one of these things where now that we have a coaching staff that seems like they know what they're doing, they're building concepts, they're putting players in the position to succeed, we're going to see things in Chicago we haven't seen in a long time. And that's one of the things where the fans who – a lot of fans were judgmental when we hired this coaching staff because Eberflus is a defensive head coach. Yeah. And they think, oh, well, if you're doing that, then our offense isn't going to be successful. But that's kind of the thing is we brought in coaches, and it's not just Getze, it's uh, Janako, it's the whole staff up there. Um, they they are going to put these guys in position to succeed. And not only that, but we're going to have an identity. And that's one thing where we're really going to build. We're really going to build, and this offense is going to improve. That always drives me crazy about – um, so, so we pride ourselves on being a mostly like educationally driven channel, right? That's why I made the statement I, I made earlier. Fans, when we have free agent decisions to make, focus on system fit. The system is the star, man. We can't emphasize that enough. Focus on system fit before you go off the rails about, hey, this guy's a great receiver. We should, we should sign him. No. you. Bear Truth 9 says, Coach T. Swifty, what are your thoughts on extending Monty? Would you pay? I had work? this talk with some – I had this talk with my boy Stax in, in the DM a while back. Um, one thing, I'm usually not a fan of paying running backs. Like, especially in today's age, usually you see guys like – even guys that are taken high in the draft, like Zeke Elliott. Yeah, they're, they're really good on their rookie contract. Like they come out, but then by the time they're on that second deal and you're paying them, like that's when they're hitting, their body is getting wore out more. They're, they're slowing down a little bit. It's just, I love Demo. I, I think he's a great running back and I would re-sign him if he took a team friendly deal. I'm yeah. not paying him anywhere near what Joe Mixon or Dalvin Cook got. Like yeah. he ain't touching that much. If he wants like three years, 24 25 million like around 8 million a season. Yeah. I do it, but it's it's also got to be short term. Those are my two factors. I want short term, so 3 years, max 4 years at the absolute max. But I want like a 3 year deal and but around 8 million. Uh, they probably he'd probably get a little bit more. They probably give him 10. Uh, yeah. So I mean 3 years 30 million. It wouldn't kill you cuz Fields is still a rookie for that whole contract. Yeah. Still on his rookie deal. He's not getting paid much. So we're going to have tons of cap room. But if, if you start going into five years and big money, nah. Like, walk out the door, bro. Khalil Herbert might even be better than him. I love Herbert's game. <laughs>